Hang on a minute. They sell booze here. Well, shit. Guess it's too late to find out. I'll be back. Just as soon as this door starts working again, I. There we go. Bye. Got a doll, baby. I love her so. Nothing else like her anywhere you go. A man, she's anything but calm. A regular pint size, I had a bomb. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 4, where we're outside the Boston Bordello, I think? Is that the name of it? Yep. Uh, where we nearly got basically mugged by a couple of assholes who are apparently are part of a gang called the Saints or something. Not in work, but wouldn't want to leave the good stuff. And, uh, yeah, they're just sort of... Apparently a bunch of religious fanatics or something. Handmade revolver. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Look at that. That's pretty cool. It's got a ridiculous barrel on it, but... Uh, Uses 38 rounds, damage 27. Oh, it's, it, unfortunately, it's not actually that good, and it's kind of heavy too, but hey. Still a bit of fun for... Yeah, the fire rate's rubbish and all, but... Uh, fun little weapon, I suppose. Uh, but I'm going to get rid of it for now. So anyway, yeah, we met Sadie, who has buggered off. Shit. Um... She wants us to go with her and sort these assholes out. And since they tried to kill me just now, I kind of feel like, yeah, why not? Make some new friends while we're out here. That's what we're doing. We're making friends and influencing people. And that includes the Brotherhood of Steel so far, actually. So meet Sadie at the Holy Mission Congregation Church, which is where? It's uh, this way somewhere, apparently. Down this street. Um, that's presumably Sadie, and that's the, where we're going. Okay, right, so yeah, we'll just. Could we just go down here? Is that going to lead to a dead end? No, we might, be get, we might be able to get away with this. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, loot that I can't take. Well, this Brahmin skull, no thanks. Well, we've got candles in here, so someone's been here recently. Oh, and a sleeping bag. And a stim pack. And yeah, I'm stealing. Um, but... Yeah, well, you know, fuck it. I compare... I, I, I care rather a lot more about not dying than making sure someone else has all their stim packs. Desktop picture frame. 10 millimeter pistol. Apparently she took one last look at her cartoon cat and then blew her brains out. Well, anyway, moving along. A bit like Robin Hood, I suppose. I steal from the... Uh well, I'd steal from other people and give to me on the basis that I believe I deserve it more. It's not really a case of I deserve it more. I'm just being a bit mercenary about it, actually, to be honest with you. It's sort of a case of, well, fuck it. You gotta do what you gotta do to survive, right? Can't get all squeamish about... ...nicking things from people who aren't even here right now. I mean, we've murdered a few people in cold blood already. This guy might be the, ne the next. Oh, not. No, no. Apparently, I couldn't fucking switch weapons quick enough. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my word. I'm probably about to die. 
Yeah, there we go. Fuck me. Just saw my health bar as I was going into vats and thinking, yeah, we're screwed. <sighs> Wonderful. Let's try that again, shall we? I'd love to have a weapons bench right now. I want that bullet. <laughs> uh, and I want that stim pack that was down there. There we go. Alright. Let's do this again, shall we? Alright, where was I supposed to be going this way? Is it this way? No, I'm not actually sure now. Nope, I don't think it was this way. Oh my god, game, stop freezing! What are you doing? Jesus. Hello. Um, you look a bit different to the average, right? Is that baseball gear you're wearing? Hello? Looking for Diamond City? Just follow the signs. What signs? <clears throat> See, you got one of those fancy vault suits. Those one size fits all. Yeah, more or less, actually. <laughs> oh, come on. What are you doing, game? Ah, oh, it keeps. I don't know what it's, what's up with it today. It's just it's running really weird. It keeps freezing and stuttering all the time. I'm lost. Right, left turn, then in the left, and that should do it. Well, there you go, that's a church if ever I saw one. Holy Mission Congregation. So where's what's her face? around the back or something. Hello? What the? What's all this then? Yeah. That's, that was what I was thinking. Oh, game. Come on. Stop it. Behave. was another Diamond City person. <sighs> Jesus Christ. <clears throat> what, is, what is with my health at the moment? I need to check this as soon as we load back up again. Am I, am I running around on like half health or something right now? What the fuck's going on? I, I seem to be dying at the minute as soon as someone even looks at me. No, I'm on full health, believe it or not. Jesus Christ. Uh. Right, straight down this road here. A bank. Hmm. We could go in there if we wanted to. Son of a bitch! What is going on? Game! 
Stop freezing! Oh, let me just do a purge cell buffer. Maybe that'll help it a bit. Alright, here we are. Maybe we should just go in. Funny. This doesn't look like a hideout. Fuck, it's a trap! Oh, Jesus. Uh... Okay, yeah, we are shooting. We are shooting. Fuck! Run! Oh, fuck. My tolerance for bullshit is high. But even this now is wearing my patience a little thin. I'm also clearly not quick saving often enough. <sighs> Or possibly I'm not wearing power armor enough, because that's what it's starting to feel like. Honey, this doesn't look like a hideout. Fuck, it's a trap! What the fuck was that? Fucking have a few of these, you assholes. There we go. I know it's supposed to be like an ambush and a big deal, but fucking hell. That was close. I'm yeah. not in any hurry to meet my maker, but judging by all these saints, he's sure as hell eager to meet us. I'm Let me just, yeah, I'll continue in a second, dear. I need a drink. I'm heading back to the bar to tell Q what happened here. He'll know what to do. I can't believe I ever agreed to help you. It was a mistake. It was a huge mistake. Action pistol, no thanks. Anything actually good here, or is it just rubbish? It seems to be mostly rubbish. Maybe I should have gone in the side door here. Esplanade. I'm assuming this is where we just were outside, yeah. Okay, well that unpleasant business is now finally fucking over with. I really need to get to Diamond City. This is getting ridiculous. We'll pop in and see that lot again next time we're headed through this way, I think. Although going back there to get a drink right now is awfully tempting, but... Uh, yeah, let's just get, get on with this. Turn to the brothel. Yeah, I will do. Uh... Just not right now. Although I am kind of going back that way anyway, so... Ugh, I just don't want to get roped into something new. Oh, screw it. Oh, she's taking a sweet time walking back there anyway. Fuck it. I'm going this way. And I'm quick saving! Alright, what have we got? Big building there. Is that a library? Looks kind of library-ish. Ah, uh, Sally, your old nemesis, the collision meshes at it again. I 
I've got. I do love downtown Boston um, in Fallout 4. It is absolutely outstanding. Even if it apparently makes my com oh, I thought that was an aluminium can. Oh, I don't want a drinking glass. Um, even if it makes my computer struggle, apparently. Um, I don't know, it's never really done this in the past, to be honest. So I'm a little bit confused, but uh, it is bloody impressive. It really is. It's actually incredibly cool. Um. Oh, we're outside Fenway Park right now, aren't we? Police Precinct 8. Oh, shit. Glowing rad roaches, okay. Seems like everything in this neighborhood is bigger and nastier and more horrible than anywhere else in the Commonwealth. I don't like it here. I feel like I really should have brought power armor for this. This is scary. Inciting a riot logs. One times photo taken at scene depicting Mr. Julian standing atop overturned vehicle. One times defaced sports jersey with the text, We Beat New York. Yeah, whatever. Um, hello. Message to Rodrigo Palomar. Okay, my friend, I thought about it, and I've reached a decision on the Fallon's job. Your cut is exactly what you deserve. Zero dollars. Zilch. You heard me right. You get nothing. Yes, you cracked the safe, and yes, we got the diamonds. But you also tripped the alarm. Mackie got pinched, and that's entirely your fault. Now, when he gets out, Mackie's gonna want your head on a platter. I'm gonna give him your share instead. I see you getting off easy. Eddie Winter, signing off. Eddie Winter, that was the name of some mafia dude, right? You're friendly, aren't you? Yeah. Hey there. Looking for Diamond City? Just follow the signs. What do you mean, these ones? You're not telling me that this is Diamond City right here, Fenway Park. Good grief, it might be it might be exactly what he yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, hi. Um He's asleep, I wonder. Armor workbench. Two of the weapons workbench, really. I'm just gonna Well he's still asleep. Sweet. Good grief. Clever. Shh. Can cudgel. It's a new one. You know what? How's <laughs> that versus my machete? Pretty fucking good, actually. <laughs> 90% to steal. And can we get away with this? Oh. Nice. Codsworth hated that. Oh, deal with it, Codsworth. There you go. You can have that instead. Enjoy. Dora. <laughs> no. Thank you. Let's, uh, I'll keep that. 
Nice. Good for uh, sneaking up and whacking people with, I would imagine. That's what I'm thinking of doing it with anyway. Oh, no. Have I got this face texture bug? I have, haven't I? Yeah. Great. Uh, you sometimes get this bug with Fallout 4. Uh, it's like this extremely hilariously racist bug where your character just is suddenly wearing blackface. <laughs> uh, I'm afraid I'm going to have to restart the game because uh, that's the only way to fix it, sadly. So, <laughs> God damn it. I'll be right back. All right, we're back. Diamond City. You're almost home. Okay. Good news. What's at the back of this thing? Not much. Am I hearing weird noises? Aside from the game pausing for some reason. I'm going to start timing these. Five, six, there was five seconds. Slightly more than five seconds. I just froze up. For no good fucking reason whatsoever. Whoa, hello. Now. You know, this, the only problem with this rifle is the scope's actually a little too long for my liking. You know what I mean? Like, it zooms in just a little bit too far. Eh. Whatever. I want a weapons workbench so I can turn this into an automatic gun instead of a single shot. That would be really useful. Alright, what do we have here? Oh, come the fuck on, Fallout. Jesus. What do you mean you can't open the gate? Stop playing around, Danny. I'm standing out in the open here for crying out loud. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out, is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. <gasps> I'm sorry, but Cutsworth, Mayor McDonough's really way. steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. <sighs> you open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. <sighs> Damn it, Danny. Open up! Hi. You. You want into Diamond City, right? I just got here, but yeah. Shh. Play along. What? What's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. I need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. This place, Diamond City. What is it? Oh, the green jewel? She's a sight. Everyone who's anyone in the Commonwealth is from here, settled here, <laughs> got kicked out of here. A big wall, some power, working plumbing, schools, and some security goons are what make Diamond City the big monster it is. <laughs> oh, love it or hate it. You'll see for yourself soon enough. Let's go. Alright then. That was easy. Piper, who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer scrapped Ooh, for parts. Ooh, statement, Mr. McDonough. Tyrant Mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. This really isn't any of my business. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, miss. No, no, no. 
You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money, settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? Uh, let's be nice, I guess. I'm sure your city is a great place. <laughs> yeah, greatest house of cards in the Commonwealth. Until the wind blows. <laughs> now, was there anything particular you came to our city for? Just looking for something. Oh, uh, what is it you're looking for? Who would I talk to you about finding a missing person? Well, whatever you do, don't bother going to Diamond City Security for help. Uh, don't listen to her. Well, I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. A mayor of a great city must know everyone. Who can help me? Oh, I'm sorry, I don't have time for any more questions. I'm Damn a it. busy man. Enjoy your stay in our fair city. <sighs> this is ridiculous. I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security always shrivels away when talk of missing persons I've had comes enough up? of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. Hmm, <laughs> a big Diamond City welcome from the mayor. You feel honored yet? Look, I gotta go get settled in, but, um, stop by my office later. I have an idea for an article you'd be perfect for. Hmm. Alright then. You quite finished getting in the way, Cotsworth. Where's the dog gone? Uh, dog meat. Dog meat. You are tired from lack of sleep. Well, finally. I've only been up for God knows how long. Jeez. But there's somewhere to rest in this place. Where the hell has the dog gone? Dog meat. Uh, I'm sure he'll find his way back to us. He usually does. Hopefully he doesn't have a brain fart like you did back there, Codsworth, in the bloody Arcjet place. I mean, I can it's, I can appreciate you might have been a little bit stunned by the whole engine booster thing, but, you know, Paladin Dance got over it. Why can't you? Uh, right. Well, okay then. Finally here. Not sure what to expect, really. Um... Head on in. It's worth pointing out as well, I think, actually, by the way, it is amazing when you go back and look at Bethesda's previous games how far the, the voice acting and, and uh, the animations and stuff have come. Bloody hell. Again, compared to Skyrim, it's, it's, it's a huge improvement, in my opinion. Felt like a far more convincing conversation we had back there than anything they've put in uh, any of their other games, that's for sure. I mean, <laughs> if you think about going all the way so, back to Morrowind. This is the famous Diamond City. I suppose I hope to find more of a gem than a dusty home base. Civilization in the rough, if you will. Hmm. The dog really has buggered off, hasn't he? Which is a little bit annoying because he had some stuff that I gave him. Not to mention half of my grenades. Ugh, man. I suppose there's a... Uh... Oh, it's my power armor. Oh, man. Where the hell's he gone? He's not, like, injured or anything, is he? Oh, if he was, then he would have gone back to the... Back to Sanctuary, I guess. Huh. 
paper to newcomers. If the Institute grabs you in the night, at least we warned you. A free paper? Sounds like quality. I'm serious. The Institute takes people. You should read up if you're sticking around. I believe you. Thanks. You're a real lost lamb in the wolf's den, lady. So what are you doing in Diamond City, anyway? Just hoping to find something here. Yeah, you and every scaver in the Commonwealth. So what are you looking for, huh? Who would I talk to about finding a missing person? You're in bad luck. No one tries to find missing people in Diamond City. Missing people means the Institute is involved. And no one's going to want to get the Institute's attention. You're a smart kid. Isn't there someone in town who isn't afraid of this Institute? Well, there is the detective, Mr. Nick Valentine. He's not afraid of anything. If anyone's gonna help you, it's him. If his business card isn't shaped like a heart, I'm gonna be disappointed. Yeah, I'm definitely sending you to the right place. Good luck, lady. <laughs> All right. The latest news from the Commonwealth. So did she actually give us a paper or what? Just out of curiosity. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Synthetic truth. Noodles, we all eat them. We love them. And Diamond City's power noodles have supplied this sustenance for the past 15 years from the stilted mechanical cadence of Takahashi's program Japanese to the fragrant steam that wafts from each bowl to the scalding tang of each delicious mouthful. The ordering and eating of noodles is but one of the many shared human experiences. Or is it? I was struck. By this very question, as I sat at the counter of Power Noodles last Wednesday night, just after 5 p.m., enjoying a dinner I had had I, I had so many times before, that's what I noticed. Our very own Mayor McDonough uh, sidled up to a stool and engaged in the very same ritual: right hand extending, mouth opening, teeth chewing. Yes, eating noodles. Shared experience of almost every Diamond City resident. So it must have also seemed to the residents. Of Diamond City nearly 60 years ago on an uncharacteristically warm day, that warm May even, evening in uh, 2229, as they sat around the, this very same counter, but that was before the days of Takahashi and his noodles, when the bar served not noodles, but ice cold Nuka Colas, frothy beers, and stiff shots of whiskey. The barman's name was Henry, and that night he facilitated the shared human experiences of drinking, smoking, talking, and laughing. That is, until tragedy struck. There aren't many among us who are even old enough to remember that evening. Although some of the city's ghoul residents certainly could have, had they not been forcibly removed, thanks to Mayor McDonough's um, anti-ghoul decree of 2282. But there's one person among us who does remember distinctly the events of that evening, respected matriarch Eustace Hawthorne, who recounted her story in a public occurrences exclusive interview. Oh, I was there, all right, sitting right at the bar. Sure as you're sitting in front of me now, 20, uh, 22 years old or so, and just looking to have a good time. I was safe behind the wall. We all were, so what was the harm? And let me tell you, that Mr. Carter made it easy. He came into town earlier that day, said he was from out west somewhere. He didn't. It didn't really matter. What did matter was his smile and his laugh and the way he'd make everyone feel at ease. That night at the bar, we just sort of crowded around him. Everyone wanted to exchange a word or hear about the state of the Commonwealth. And Mr. Carter, he was all too happy to oblige. It was just so wonderful. Until it wasn't. Eustace continued her account of that evening and the moment when things turned sinister and the truth about Mr. Carter was revealed. We'd been drinking and carrying on. Must have been three hours. Mr. Carter had four or five drinks in that time. He seemed a bit drunk, I guess, like the rest of us. Then something just sort of happened. He was smiling. But the smile sort of went from his face in it, all in an instant. And then his cheeks started twitching kind of funny. And I remember watching him clear as if it happened just yesterday. He reached inside his coat, took out a revolver, and then blam. He shot Henry the barman right in the head. Didn't hesitate, didn't show any emotion. Mr. Carter killed Henry as casually as if he were paying for a drink. But his cheek never did stop twitching. Let me tell you, all hell broke loose after that. 
What Eustace is describing is, of course, the infamous event known as the Broken Mask, when people of the Commonwealth learned for the first time that the Institute, the shadowy scientific organization responsible for the creation of combat androids, had actually succeeded in creating a model so advanced it could effortlessly infiltrate human society. Unbeknownst to the people of Diamond City, the Institute had somehow evolved their androids into true synthetic humans since. After he shot Henry, that Mr. Carter shot three or four other people too. Like I said, all hell broke loose. The guards came running, they opened fire, and Mr. Carter, he kept shooting and throwing people around left and right. Finally, the, the guards put him down. It seemed like they had killed a man who had flipped his lid, gone crazy, and he lay there like a dead crazy man, sure enough. God, it was horrible. But then we saw the plastic and the metal. This was one of them early synths, you see, and we realized it wasn't a man at all. It was then all we knew. The Institute wasn't just out there, the Institute was everywhere now, among us. It was never determined precisely why the synth known as Mr. Carter went on a killing spree. Some suggested he had somehow been remotely controlled by the Institute, who wanted to test his combat effectiveness. Still others felt he had simply malfunctioned, a hypothesis supported by the twitching cheek, and was never meant to kill anyone. But at that time, the why hardly seemed important. What matters was that the humans of the Commonwealth had been truly infiltrated by an organization whose intentions and motives were, and still are, a complete mystery, using a model of synth even less advanced than the ones the Institute has in service today. Which brings us to noodles. Specifically, the noodles consumed by Mayor McDonough, or how do you pronounce that, Mayor McDonough? I suppose. Um, last... Wednesday night in the name in the same spot that Mr. Carter the synth went haywire and mercilessly killed several people. After spending hours sharing an experience the people of Diamond City assumed was reserved was reserved for the mer I'm really fucking bad at reading stuff out loud, by the way, guys, in case you hadn't noticed. <laughs> Human race, they were wrong, are we? There we go. That was a bit longer than I thought it would be. Whew. Okay. Are those iBots playing music? Because we're going to have a problem with that if they are. Hey, what's with you vault dwellers in those jumpsuits, huh? It's that secretary of well, his. I mean... Her and her perfect hair. Mm -hmm. The mayor's secretary, come on. Maybe I shouldn't be wearing a vault suit now that I think about it. It attracts unwanted attention, doesn't it, really? able to tell the difference. You nick McDonough with your razor, you. he'd bleed. Oh, it's not something I considered, it. but yeah. The Super Salon can give you the hairstyle of your dreams. We got My name is Shibasuka. Do yourself a favor and just say yes. It's all he understands. Yes? <laughs> okay, we can buy buy noodles. Alright, then fine, why not? <laughs> I don't want to buy all of them, though. Bloody hell. Jesus, that's... A, that's... Relatively expensive for noodles. Fuck you know. I suppose I can pay for that with something else, right? No, not really. Uh, whatever. Whoa, what? No, no, no. <laughs> Alright, there we go. I have to press R. I keep forgetting that. Good to see another robot in town. I've never seen that conversation happen before. <laughs> That's quite funny. All right, anyway. <laughs> Got a dog, baby. I love her so. Nothing else like her anywhere you go. A man, she anything but calm. A regular pint size atom bomb. Atom bomb, baby. Atom bomb. I want her in my wigwam. She's just the way I want her to be. A million times.